So uh, last time we done with the uh, dispensation and uh, when we uh, take the scripture, we need to know that uh, 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 when did God speak that? When means the dispensations of time, the residual of time. Uh, when he speak that, in what uh, dispensations of time. And now in each dispensations, God deal with us differently. Uh, we call that the covenant, the covenant or the agreement with each other. It's like the contracts. Uh, it's like contracts between uh, God and man. And <clears throat> so definition uh, is a, an agreement or contracts between man or uh, uh, between man and God. So there's covenants in the Bible, kinds, there are two kinds. Conditional covenants depends upon man. Uh, example like Exodus chapter 15 verse 5. If ye will obey, and then I will do this, this, and that. So the condition God gives to man. If man fulfills his duty that God has given to them, then uh, <clears throat> then God will give us uh, what God will uh, uh, give the blessings uh, to us. Uh, there you will see a lot during the uh, enter into the promised land. God has given them a lot of uh, promise, but all those promise in the promised land are conditional promise. Okay, they have turned on my light so you can see. <clears throat> and then unconditional is depends upon God. Okay, like I will Genesis chapter fifteen verse one uh, verse. Genesis chapter 9 verse 11 I will do this I will do that without the uh, part of participate of man and another uh, unconditional uh, 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 what's that covenant as like uh, the covenant that God promised to not to destroy the earth the two ton earth with water anymore uh, uh, what is the sign of covenant? That is the what the, uh, the the rainbow, and that is unconditional covenant. Okay, it's it's not depend on man, but it's only depend on God and His character. <clears throat> now we look at all the covenants, the Adamic covenant, and then constitutions that happened in Genesis chapter one, verse uh, twenty eight to thirty, and Genesis chapter two, verse fifteen to seventeen. We don't have time to bust through all of this, and you know it already. That is the beauty of man, and we will see here. The other <clears throat> orders of life, man Eden, and his relationship to God. This is a contents of covenant. Man responsible is need to replenish the earth, to subdue the earth, and to uh, to the needs of the human race. And possibly this means the force of the earth as well as the beasts, okay, to control all the earths, the animals, to subdue, to control, and to replenish, means to stay all of the earth, okay, um, make a lot of children, and scatter all around, okay, that is the, uh, the word replenish means, that is man's responsibility, and to have dominion over the animals of the creation, Okay, Psalm chapter 8, verse 3 to 9. And you can see it all. And then to dress and keep the garden. That's the responsibility of, of man. The conditions of the covenant. Abstain from eating the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Okay. And what happened? Failure to do this resulted to death. Okay. Conclu conclusions of the covenant. What happened later on? D did man fulfill his uh, responsibility? No. Man failed from his duty and was expelled from the garden. Okay. So, Adamic covenant, is it ap applicable up to this time? Is it applicable up to this time? No more. Why? Because man already being destroyed at once. In Adamic covenant, man eat uh, vegetables, but since man already destroyed that one, so no more. Man cannot uh, stay in Eden Garden anymore. 
man cannot what man cannot eat the uh, uh the fruit of tree of life anymore you casting you out already and then what the 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 animals already become cruel and etc okay so the uh and then make covenant is ended okay so Adamic covenant, uh, when the covenant is ended, what does it mean? We stop there, okay? And we do not use the rule in the old time and apply it into this day, okay? Example, okay, is an Adamic covenant that is in Genesis chapter 1 and... Genesis chapter 2, okay. Genesis chapter 1, verse uh, 15. No, 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 no. Where is it? Wait, wait. Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. Yeah. God blessed them, Adam and Eve, and God said to them, Be fruitful and be multiply, multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. So, the word replenish means, what does it mean? You need to have the kids, maybe you have a lot of baby, and then you need to stay all scattered all around the earth. Do not gather in one, one place. That is the command, right? And if you use this command to tell some Christian that, oh, you do not obey God's word because you have only one children, you have only one child. Oh, no, you have to obey. You have to give to a lot of child. So like Muslim, they obey God's word. So they have a lot of wives and a lot of child, a lot of children, 20, 30 children. Okay, so uh, what do you think? What do you think? Khi mà có một người nào đó nói là lệnh của Kinh Thánh đưa ra là chúng ta phải làm cho đầy dãy đất. Cho nên một gia đình phải có, không phải có hai con, mà phải có bảy, có bảy, tám, chín chục con. Có càng nhiều càng tốt để replenish, làm đầy dãy mà. Và phải ở rời rạc, rời rạc nha. Không có, không có ở gần, gần lại với nhau. Không có ở trong thành phố, rời, rời, rời rạc ra để cho control khắp hết đất. So, what do you think about that? What do you think if someone says so? Hello? Uh, Simeon. Simon. Simeon. Uh. Again, Pastor, again for again, the again. question. Sorry, sorry. For... <laughs> you... What do you think if someone will tell you since you have wife See me on example in the future you have wife and you have only one kid and two kids only Halimbawa example two kids only and you don't want to have more okay and but the Bible said okay another Christian he said oh you disobey God because God said to replenish the earth you should have a lot of kids so that you will uh, obey God, you subdue on the earth. Replenish means, God said you have to have a lot of kids. You have only two, means you disobey God. Oh, no. What will you say? You don't understand? You don't understand my question? Yes, I, yes well, I understand, Pope Pastor. What I'm thinking, what, what I gonna what is your thinking? It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, okay. So, Skepta, help. I Pastor, but uh, this uh, this kind of verse was applied only during the time of Eve. If during this time, I think it's not uh, applicable already. Okay. Uh, example, I have, uh, this one is a contract, okay, this is a contract between two persons, okay, 
this is a contract between the skater and uh, Simeon. Okay. This is a con contract between the two. Okay. Okay, I just make this contract an example. I make it uh, smaller so it's going to be enough inside this contracts. Okay. Uh, 36. Okay, can you read? Okay. So in the contract, say, um, let's say I'm thinking about contracts. Uh, let's say to think about the contracts. Uh, do you have any agreement with each other? Can you give me an example of a contracts? They agree agree that uh, let's say whosoever got married or uh, get married ah get get married am I correct before the age of 30 Okay. First, another person will give to him two thousand uh, dollars. Okay, example like that. Okay, so this is uh, where's the dollars? Okay. Simple contracts between Skepta and Simons because since they are good friends. So two of them, they agree each other. If two of them, whosoever get married first before the age of 30, another person, the, the one who late, will give him $2,000. Okay. Do you understand the contracts? Okay. So now both of you are under 30, right? Are you under 30? Let's go under 30. Okay, so, okay, so now, so if uh, if uh, Skeptor got married first, then Simon need to give him $2,000. <laughs> or if Simon got married first, Skeptor will give him $2,000. Okay, so the problem is that this is signed. Okay, this is contract already signed. Okay, signed. Signed by two of them. Now, Time passed by, time passed by that when uh, all of them, uh, both of them, both of them uh, are now more than 30 years old. Ah, okay, example A. And then uh, Skepter married. Ah, okay. And then he asked Simon Simeon $2,000. Do you think it's right or wrong? Okay. Ah, Skepter now is uh, 32 years old. And he get married. Okay. He asked Simeon for $2,000. Okay. Is that okay? Is that okay for Simeon to ask? Uh, is, is that okay for Skepto to ask Simon for $2,000? Yes or no? Brother Joseph, what do you think? Uh, Brother Joseph, what do you think? Uh, uh, I think that's not right. <laughs> it's not right. Why?
Why? <laughs> because because the condition of the contract does not meet. Okay? Because the condition of the contract does not meet. That is a answer. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, my the zoom is occupy my thing. I cannot draw here. Okay, because the condition over here is before the age of thirty. That is a condition. Okay, the condition that in the contract they need to agree with each other. They sign. That is before the age of thirty. Okay. But now he's already 32. He got married. Okay, 32. So the condition is does not meet. So therefore, it is wrong for sim for scatter to ask Simon two thousand dollars. So go back over here. In the Edemic uh Covenant, God has given us the condition to do. Okay, this is not unconditioned, but this is a condition covenant. And what are the condition? Here. Okay, condition. Okay, this is one the the content of a covenant. Okay, you have to replenish the earth. You have to subdue the earth and then dominion of all the animals, keep and dress the garden, etc. And here, condition of the covenant is abstain from eating the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. See that? And if you fail to do that, you resulted to death. Because this is a condition. Okay, so when the condition of a covenant is broken, then you cannot apply on other uh, things inside that. Okay, and you cannot uh, what? You cannot say that, oh, Lord, uh, I resulted to death, but I have to stay in the garden. Because uh, you allow me in the con covenant that I need to stay in the garden, Adam said. Uh, I need to stay in the garden. I don't want to go out because you give it to me. <laughs> oh, no. See that? And then you have to eat. I don't want to work. Oh, no. See, you cannot because you already destroy the what? The construct by, by disobey the command. You do not fulfill the conditions of the command. So all of this will be invalid. Okay? Will be invalid that's why we before we have dominion over the animals of the creation remember in the time of adam adam can play with a tiger with a leopard with a elephant but nowadays <laughs> can you play with the tiger oh no who among us want to play with the tiger and you say oh lion Tiger, you have to obey me. God commanded that I have authority over you. I have dominion and subdue the earth. I subdue you. Oh, no. The tiger will bite you immediately. <laughs> before the, the before your sin, Adam's sin, Adam has that right to dominion over them, command. But now cannot, Okay. We have to use our brain. We have to use our intelligence that God has given us to control, to tame, use a metal, use a, use a cage, use a trap, <laughs> okay? Use a medicine, uh, okay? Initia, uh, general initia medicine to shoot, <laughs> okay? To, uh, to, to control the lion. Uh, but uh, we don't have that, that uh, the, the right anymore to claim that one, okay? So uh, we cannot claim on the privilege that God has given us in the time of Adam and Eve, okay? In the time of Adam and Eve, what a privilege? No need to uh, spoils, 
no need to bear the heat of the sun like that no need right so next the atomic covenant okay the atomic covenant is God made with Adam in Garden before the explosions, okay? Before they were cast out of the garden. That's when Genesis chapter 3, verse 14 to 19, okay? That is Adamic covenant, okay? Only four or five verses, so uh, let's read. Genesis chapter four, uh, 3, verse 14 to 15. What chapter? 3. 14 to 15 here this is the Adamic covenant uh, after Adam committed sins and now God before God uh, sent them out expose them expel them out of the garden uh, God gave the command okay like this and the Lord said unto the servant because thou hast done this thou art cursed above all the cattle above all the beasts of the field upon the bellies thou shalt go and thus shalt Thou shalt eat all the days of thy life, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. Okay, this is unconditional, no condition. The woman and the servant will have what enmity. Okay, and this shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his, his heel. And unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. This is unconditioned. Whosoever woman it is, you still have to apply this. You will bear the sorrow to bear, uh, to have conception and delivering child. That is painful. And thy desire, the desire of the, the woman will be the husband and the husband rule over the wife that is unconditioned what does this mean unconditioned is still apply up to this day you understand when it's unconditioned means it's not depend on man it's only depend on god it still apply up to this day and unto adam he said because thou hast hearkened into the voice of thy wife and has eaten the tree which I commanded thee, uh, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Curse the ground for thy sake. Okay. It's applied unto this day. The ground now is still being cursed. Cursed. And then what is bring thorns. Okay. Thorns is one of the curse that God put on the ground. And what? In the sorrow thou shalt eat up it all the day of thy life. Man, we are under the curse of God and we have to work for your, your wife, to take care of your wife. You have to work. Okay? Skeptor, Simon, you have to work. And this is unconditioned. Means it still apply up to this day. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to thee. And thou shalt eat the herbs of the field. Okay. So every farmer know this. Thorns and thistles always grow up. Whatsoever you plant, you spray, okay, you weed. Yet the grass, the wheat, the thorns still grow up everywhere in the farm. And you know it's small, small, small one. Even some big, some small. Like that. And that is the curse of God upon the ground. And in the sweat of thy face thou shalt eat bread and thou shalt return to the ground out of it was thou taken for thus thou art and unto thus thou shalt return and this is the curse that we bear we have to work sweating and uh, to to fast to to eat okay uh teacher uh, in America now the people are not sweating. Number one, the weather is so cold. Number two, they all have the machines, the machines and robots are planting and working for them. They are not working anymore. <laughs> they are not sweating anymore. <laughs> okay, so how do you answer that? 
huh? Can human escape the curse of God by inventing robot, by inventing machine, and we will not work, we will not sweating anymore? No, what do you think? <laughs> uh, the, the, the Bible said that we, the man will, will sweat to work hard and the ground will have thorns. But nowadays uh, in America, they just uh, have the machine, big, big machine, and they just, uh, <laughs> you know what? You've never been to America. You do not know what the trials and problems they are facing. <laughs> Pastor, if the machine po, it will be broken, you're still going to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> the machine is broken and you have sweat more. Yeah, it will fix the machine. The gasoline, the the labor, no, no, the, the, the labor, the one who controls the machines. And, uh, you you know, the yeah, simple answer is I've never been to America. I do not know. But yet, I met uh, some of uh, Americans uh, farmer, and yet they said it's still very hard, very tired. <laughs> okay, so uh, to those who answer like that, we are not American, we do not know. But here in Vietnam, we really tired. Okay, if you planting and you know this. So Adamic Covenant, Container covenants is curse of Satan, curse upon the woman, curse upon man, curse upon earth, and what the promise? Promise in 315, okay? About the seed of the woman, okay? Not the seed of the man, the seed of the woman. And then conclusion, the effect of the covenant still upon all creations until this day, all right? Because this is unconditioned covenant okay so i have only nine minutes okay so i just uh uh stop and then uh log in again okay i have to log out and log in again